guys, so today um, I'm gonna explain why we haven't been around a lot. First, kids have school. Second, it's winter and it's yucky and there's nothing to do. Uh, third, we were saving up because we have a big vacation coming up and we're really excited. But mom hasn't been around doing too much stuff because I've been throwing myself into one of my huge passions in life, which is art. You guys have seen me do it on my channel before. Um, Today I'm actually going to show you what I've been up to. I'm really into doing this stuff called resin art. So if you want to see how to pour a resin art, make sure you stay tuned because this stuff is lit. Don't play with fire kids. Alright guys, so what you're going to need is a canvas, your resin, I use a blowtorch, sometimes I use the silly straw, and you're going to need little disposable cups, you're going to need something to mix your stuff with, which I use is popsicle sticks, you can get them for really cheap, a ton of them, like 400 of them for like $2. Um, and then I'm also gonna use this cool little thing, a spatula-esque thing to like smooth things that I want. I need a big cup and all my paints. Cause, you're, and I'm gonna use glitter too. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take the resin, mix it in the big cup, and then distribute it into the little cups so that I can make the colors I want. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour it over the canvas, we're gonna set it with the fire, and it's gonna come out beautiful. So, here we go. So, what you're gonna need is equal parts. So what you could do, since I'm gonna need a lot, is take your little cup that you're gonna fill up anyways, fill it up, so there's one, I also use these little cups to hold up my artwork so that the overflow doesn't get stuck because once it gets stuck onto the plastic I'm using garbage bags because I can throw away garbage bags and this stuff is messy so might as well do something that you can easily clean up so now I'm using the second part which is the hardener and like I said equal parts of each Take my little handy dandy spatula or popsicle stick, scrape out all the good stuff. Now, <laughs> all right, you're done with your liquid resin, put it off to the side, get it out your workspace. Now we're just gonna mix it. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. All right guys, so while I'm mixing this, let's have a talk real quick. So I've been doing a lot of art, trying to get a lot back into it. It's one of my passions in life. And um, there's Caitlin. <laughs> You're never alone. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. Can you see her? I know y'all have met Leo before, but Caitlin's been our cat for a lot long, a uh, year longer than we had Leo. We got her first. And we wanted her to have a friend, so that's why we got Leo. He's actually behind the camera right now. <laughs> and his ears are twitching because he knows I'm talking about him. Hi, baby kitty. So I actually have um, done a lot of new pieces, and I have posted them up for sale on Etsy. I'm going to link my Etsy page down in the description box below if you want to pick up any of my pieces. Um, I'm also going to uh, leave some of them up here, and up here, and up here, and how about there, and how about right here, and how about here? Oh, what about up here? And one right here? All right, well, I hope you like them, and I hope you enjoy watching me make this one because honestly, I think anybody can do it if they get their hands on it. Yes, yes, it's a very messy thing. Yes, I should be wearing gloves, but I don't mind messy, so I'm not going to. So, yeah, go check out my Etsy page. Also, let me know if you want me to do any custom work for you. Um, I'm always up for it, so just DM me through our either our, um, you know, Fin Family Fun Gmail email, which I'll leave down here, 
or I will, you know, you can do that or you can follow us on Instagram because I always post them over there too. Um, and also watch some of my other drawing videos like when I did for the Penny family. So I do custom art. So hit me up. <laughs> and here we go. Now it's all mixed, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to put this little sticky doodle down and it doesn't matter because it's some plastic. I'm going to take my different little cups. I get these from the dollar store because they're cheap. I'm using one, two, three. I'm using four colors. So what I want to do actually is I'm going to take my blue because that's the main color. It's actually the main color is white. I don't know why I said blue. Ones. But blue. And I'm going to, these are just acrylic paints. Take my metallic silver. What I like to do to get a really nice rich color is coat the bottom. My third color isn't even a color, it's actually just pure glitter. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, that that's are done, and then after I'm done, I'm actually not gonna use this cup because my main cup is gonna be white. So once I pour my resin into these equally, I'm gonna stir them up, whatever's left in there, I'm gonna add white to this main cup, and then I'm gonna pour it across the entire canvas. One, well, blue's a little bit extra, so one, two, and three. All right, guys, I'm going to mix these all up, and I'll meet you back in a second so we can pour this thing. First is take this white I made. It doesn't matter, that was just messy. Because I'm just gonna take it, put it all over the canvas. Now we're gonna smooth that out. Why we need this little hooky thingy. When I was first doing these, I thought I needed a lot more than I did. So I was always over mixing and over pouring and using way too much. So what I do now is I just kind of coat it. I just start out with a little, I can always make more. So let me tell you people, resin can be expensive. Just like any art medium, you don't want to waste it, so. So I'm just gonna real quick do this and I'm gonna time lapse starting now. Coated, we're gonna grab our cups of pre-mixed colors because you always want to mix it first and we're gonna get pouring now, this is where we get to be creative this is the part where we get to have fun so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start out with my blue because my blue is my primary color and then I'm gonna add in the glitter one and then the silver metallic so what I'm going for is like burnt flowy I don't know how to describe it, you'll see it when it's done. Now that I got my base shape done, I'm gonna add in the other colors. My secondary color is this, you know, it's really cool gray metallic, see it? See how it's kinda sticky, it's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna just kinda draw 
it in there. And I just place it through. There's no messing up, if you will, because I just kind of want to do what I want to do. And I always leave a little bit extra in the cup in case I want to add more later. Now, the glitter. I'm just gonna add a little bit because I'm gonna probably use more glitter at the end of this part. So just a hair across. Make sure you don't drip where you don't want to. And again, but crisscross the other way. And one more on the outside. And one more through this way. Now, <laughs> this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. So, you can use either a kitchen torch, which is probably a lot safer than what I'm using, or you can use, you know, some regular heat, or you can just do the tipping, where you tip it. And I don't wanna do that. I don't like tipping it, because I feel like I just mess it up, but fire's on. I bring it down to a low, and then I kind of just burn out the the edges. The resin will melt, blurring them all together. this way I want it to look like it's flowing that way so I'm just chipping it and I'm letting it pour off but look at all that really cool just like massive texture we got going on on this side that is awesome now now I think I'm gonna add a little more blue through the midsection because I'm not happy that they're, they could kind of went away so there's one stripe of gray to add a little bit more Mention. There we go. You gotta be careful with these though, because the metallics, especially the silver, for some reason, thicken up when you heat them. So I'm gonna take this, scrape it off so there's no. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit extra blue. Like that. And another one. And. Hmm. Now we're going to add a little more heat. And I think time to just add one more little couple drops of the sparkles through the center like this. We're going to do a swoosh here because the sparkles have gotten lost a little bit along the way I may or may not add heat for the sparkles to make them melt through or I might do this little technique I like to do which is kind of just taking it and dabbing it through because then I can get it exactly where I want it I want more here just a little bit just kind of drag it through you can't mess up that's a fun thing about these is like can't really mess up. All right, now one more boost, burst, burst. Ah! Heat, just to melt these a little bit. These sparkles, I want them to bleed just a tiny bit, just a little bit. Done. Done. I think 
she turned out beautiful. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use resin and do a resin paint pour. Um, again, that's why I've been kind of like not around on her channel as much right now because I've just been so in love with doing all these paintings and getting messy and um, I'm following my passions like I, I should be. Um, you're never too old to follow your dreams, y'all. So make sure you like and you subscribe and you hit that bell because, you know, do a lot of fun things here on Fit Family Fun. We'll catch you next time. Bye! If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe for more fun videos.